So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video we are going to talk about how we can rig a character using the auto rig pro add-on yes auto rig pro add-on which is i got free from the blender market so now without any further delay let's get started tutorial so right now guys on my screen here you can see we have one hulk model which is looking super cool by the way so now First of all, what I did exactly, I just want to tell you everything about the Autoric Pro add-on because while using the Autoric Pro add-on, we need some uh, certain uh, named object like on into my scene collection. You have seen we have a body, we have a hair, we have a left eye, we have a lower jaw, we have a right eye, we have a tongue, we have an upper jaw. So which is you have to separate it before using the Autoric Pro add-on. And one more thing I just want to tell you guys, if I will just go to the edit mode of my character. So now here you can see we have a triangles into our character and which is not good for a rigging by the way so how we can rid of all those triangles on a single click by the way so in this video i'm gonna show you a very cool trick which is gonna help you remove all those triangles so what you have to do basically you have to select all the triangle and then you have to just press the alt j and boom here you can see i'm just gonna do control z here you can see alt j and everything is wipe out wow if still you are seeing any kind of triangles into your character, you can also use one more thing. Basically, you have to just go to your face mode, select all the body, then you have to just press the F3, and here you have to just search the try to card. Here you can see I have already shared, and you have just click it. If anything, anything, anything is left, so that tool will help remove that. All it's so now we can easily animate this whole character. Now it looks awesome, by the way. Now what I'm going to do basically, I will just exit from the edit mode. So first of all, you have to just install the add-on. I hope you all guys know that how to install the add-on. If not, then I can just tell you, you have to just go to edit preference and from the uh, add-on section, you have to just install it and wherever you have a zip file, you have to just download it and you will get the auto rig pro add-on right away into your, into your add-on section and you have to just enable it and then you can just use it. So if I'll just hit the end into my keyboard, after that my sidebar will be pop out and here we have a APR, Autoric Pro add-on. So now what we have to do, we have to just go to the Autoric Pro Smart option. But okay, and here you can see we have some gray out feature here. So how we can enable this, we have to just select all the character and now here you can see this is enabled. Now we have to just click the get started object and it will ask us we need a full body or a facial only. So first of all, we need a full body. We'll just hit the OK. And now here you can see it will give some uh, what we can say pointer for us and it will tell us just add the pointer according to the name basically. So first of all, this is the add neck. So I'm just going to add the neck something like that. And after that, it is starting for the chin. I will just add the chin here. And I'll just go to my left view and I'll just move this chin part here to here. And I will also move this, uh, what we can say, neck part here to here. We can move basically not here, here basically. Yeah, that's awesome. Chin part should also little bit upside, looking awesome. Yeah. Then again, I will just come to my front view and then it will ask for at the shoulder. So these are our shoulder then i'll just add the wrist yeah this is our wrist it will also ask the spine tool the spine root basically so i'm just gonna my back view and this is our spine bone something like that and last but not least we have an ankle i'm just gonna add the ankle something like that and after adding all of those things after that make sure guys if your character have a less finger so you can just decrease the finger amount from the here but right now we have a one two three four five fingers so it is good to go now before clicking the go we need to fix some uh, options like we have to just go to our top view and here you can see it is not perfectly matched so we have to just select it and keep it into their place something like that just move it yes I'll just go to my left view where you can see it should be a little bit in between same thing also just click it so 
go to my left view. Yeah, everything is good to go into the front view. Just move it here to here. Yeah, now everything is good to go. Here you can see. After that, I will just click the add facial option. I'll just go to hit the add facial. Now here you can see we have some options here. So first of all, we'll just try to match our eyes with this option here you can see i'm just going to put all those controller here here and just move it yeah everything is all good to go perfect same thing uh, we have to just see where is eyebrow i think his eyebrows are here we can just move it here to here to here and here and this will be a little bit here and this will also here then you have to just move their nose bone i will just put his nose bone here then i'll just add his ear bones here to here something like that and i'll add his cheekbone then i'll just move and scale this lips part make sure these should be a little bit upward something like that and this should be a little bit cornered yes everything is good to go we have to also add our pin bone yeah after doing that we have to select some option basically first of all it will ask you we you have a two eyeball or single eyeball so we have a two eyeball first of all you have to select the left eye so we have a left eye we have a right eye as well we have a tongue i'm just gonna search the tongue we have a two teeth basically so i will just select the upper teeth so where is the upper jaw this is the lower basically so this is the upper this is the lower and now we will hit ok and everything is good to go after doing all those things make sure you just recheck once everything is into their place if everything is good to go you can just hit the go button and it will automatically create the bone according to the body structure and it will try to create accurate as much as it can do it and now here you can see guys it is perfectly make the bone and awesome now here we go it is look awesome by the way i'm just going to show you into my what we can say object mode everything is perfect looking good by the way now what we can do we have to change just one thing we have to just move uh, these bones basically let me give one minute here yeah. we have to move these bones little bit here and just little bit here and just little bit here we also move this bone here to here yeah and little bit i think everything is good to go after that all right if we have a good bone structure setup now we can just select everything and we can just go to our skinning section and here we have a skinning engine first of all we have a heat map second we have voxel heads and third is a add-on is called voxel heat diffuse add-on and we have already make a separate video on that topic so if you haven't watched just go to my channel and you can just search it but right now we are going to use the first engine it's called heat map so how we can use it basically first of all we have to select our bone and we have to just create controllers for that so for that what we have to do we have to just click the master rig and it will automatically create the controller for a, each and every bone and here you can see it look awesome by the way now we have to just exit from the pose mode and select everything then we have to select our pose then we have to just go to our skin section and make sure your heat map by default uh, engine is selected then you have to just click the fix uh, scale fix button also and make sure you also check the preserve volume and if both is checked then you have to just click the bind and it will take little bit time all right guys so now here you can see everything is good to go now we'll just go to my pose mode pressing the control tab and i'll just try to move his leg and here we go guys this is look awesome by the way we have a perfect 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 rig of this hulk and this is look awesome by the way we have a fk and ik as well oh my god this is look somehow awesome wow we can just 
try to open his mouth as well oh my god we need to fix some weight painting also but and by default everything is look very good to go and now here you can see that's how you can just rig your uh, character using the auto rig pro add-on and that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you guys and, and in the next video we will definitely make how we can rig this character with the help of auto rig pro controllers so make sure hit the subscribe button hit the like button and also if you have any suggestion if you have any queries please let me in the comment box i'll definitely reply and comment so bye bye take and stream guys and love you all Thank you.